What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something quite special to be reviewing and that is the A6 Jound collaboration in this silver and white colorway. So let's get straight into the review of this shoe. Now I managed to actually hit a pair of these directly from the Jound website. Um, I actually managed to get these within, I think it was five days of when I actually got the confirmation of the shipping. It took a while for them to get through the DHL customs part because there was a bit of confusion with that, but they're finally in hand now. And I get to show you guys what they look like on feet and give you a quick overview of how the shoe is in hand. Right, let's start with the materials of the shoe. Um, it comes in all the way around this mesh material, which is going all the way around the lateral or medial side of the shoe. And it also has this sort of silver painted leather, which goes all the way around the sort of details of the shoe as well. The ASIC symbol obviously comes in this plastic leather. It comes with cell laces, and also it does come with a spare pair of white laces in the box, which I'm probably not gonna be putting on those, if I'm being honest, because I think the sale makes it pop a little bit more. Pictures, the shoe, I don't think it really does it justice. Um, online, I think they make it look a lot brighter than what it actually is. You don't really see a lot of detailing in it, but in hand, you can actually see the accents of like the cream on the ASIC symbol. You can see like the cream details here on the sole. On the bubble here, it's a lot more dense, like color-wise. And on the, just around the shoe, you can literally see the details popping out a lot more. Um, you'd have to understand what I'm saying if you see these in hand. It's like an all white cream shoe you see most days. They don't look like they have details, but yeah, materials-wise, detail-wise, this shoe is definitely, definitely up there. Um, the price, now, this is where it gets a bit interesting. The retail was pretty much, I think it was 150 over in the UK and all the raffles and places that were selling these. I paid, I think it was 190 pounds, which was like $240. And the shipping was like $40 to the UK. I don't know why I didn't use my US address. Um, kicking myself for that because I had to pay something like 80 pounds when it comes to imports, which I'm not really happy about. I tried to, well, I basically tried to cancel the shoe. Uh, with DHL but they'd already delivered it to my place so I had to sort of pay the import charges before they start chasing me up for it. Um, was it worth it? I would have been happy if I just paid retail for the shoe, um, maybe like 20, 30 pounds for shipping but that 80 pound import fee definitely did take a lot out of the shoe for me but once I've got it in hand it is definitely a really really nice shoe but just not worth the money I paid for it obviously. And when it comes to the fit um, these fit true to size. I've got a US 10 and I believe this is 9.5 UK. Let me just double check that. But it's a UK 9, so this is actually a size down. If for the UK people, A6 is saying UK 9 would be a US 10. So definitely go true to size when it comes to these. You can probably go half size up if I'm being honest with you, but the way these fit my foot, I actually really like it. It's comfortable. But um, yeah, I can definitely go true to size when it comes to Kyanos. So uh, I've gone over the materials, I've gone over the price, and I've gone over how these shoes fit. I'm just going to throw these on foot for you guys and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the team, innit? So enjoy the on feet. 